Hello all. Let us see about enzymatic browning of fruits and vegetables. Myself, Dr. K. Gomati, Assistant Professor, Department of Home Science, Sri Sharada College for Women, Autonomous, Salem, 16, Tamil Nadu. This video enables the students to learn about enzymatic browning, identify the factors to prevent enzymatic browning, apply it in their daily routine and processing of fruits. The table of contents of this video include introduction, schematic diagram, factors to prevent, and the conclusion. When the fruits are cut, the cut surface turns brown. It reduces not only the visual quality, but also results in undesirable changes in flavor and nutrient loss due to this enzymatic browning. Browning of fruit is a major problem in food industry and is believed to be an, one of the main cause of quality loss during post-harvest handling and processing of fruits and vegetables. Why does enzymatic browning happen? Foods are made up of lot of different molecules including enzymes. Enzymes are special proteins which can speed up the chemical reactions and act as biological catalysts. They can cause fruit to ripen and over ripen which gives the fruit a brown color. Fresh fruits and vegetables normally keep enzymes trapped in their tissues. However, when the fruit is sliced or squashed or damaged or when the fruit or vegetable begins to break down with aging, the enzyme come in contact with the oxygen in the air. This causes the fruit to turn brown. What causes enzymatic browning? Browning is a chemical process which occurs in fruits and vegetables by the enzyme called polyphenol oxidase or polyphenolase which results in brown pigments. How polyphenol oxidase works? Polyphenol oxidase act as a catalyst to speed up the process which can occur rapidly in warm temperatures when the pH is between 5 to 7. Polyphenol oxidase is a copper containing enzyme that catalysts the oxidation of phenol compounds present in plant tissues of many fruits and vegetables. The schematic diagram shows the enzymatic browning. The cut fruits and vegetables containing several phenolic compounds including catasin, tyrosine, chlorogenic acid, mono and dihydroxyphenol. When these compounds are exposed with the oxygen, that is atmospheric oxygen, the polyphenolase enzyme catalyzes these compounds into DOPA, that is dihydroxyphenylalanine. This DOPA further oxidized with the help of polyphenolase enzyme and form a compound called orthoquinones. These orthoquinones are polymerized several times and form a compound called melanin, which gives the brown color for the fruits and vegetables. Normally, which are all the fruits and vegetables undergo enzymatic browning? Means apples, pear, apricots, peaches, and the banana usually undergo enzymatic browning. The vegetables which undergo enzymatic browning are potatoes, lettuce, plantain, brinjal. These are all the vegetables which undergo rapid enzymatic browning. Here comes the preventive methods for the enzymatic browning. 
first and foremost is the change of pH. Optimum pH for polyphenol oxidase activity between 5 to 7 pH. Lowering the pH to 4 by adding citric acid inhibits the polyphenolase enzyme activity. Citric acid also reacts with copper present in the enzyme. Malic acid also found to be very effective. Lemon juice with citric acid and ascorbic acid are effective in reducing the enzymatic drowning. Application of heat. Application of heat to the food article at a higher temperature for an adequate length of time inactivates the polyphenolase and all other enzymes present. Heat applied such as blanching and high temperature short time, HTST pasteurization used respectively in the pretreatment of vegetables for processing like canning, freezing, preservation or dehydration or in the manufacturing of fruit juices and purees. Use of antioxidants. Mainly use of sulfides and bisulfides. In this method, they act as a two-way method. First, it changes in the protein conformation of polyphenol oxidases. Next, these antioxidants form a colorless complex with quinone, thus preventing the polymerization into melanin. Sulfides and bisulfides can be used as 10 parts per million completely inhibit the polyphenolase enzyme activity. These antioxidants also used as a reducing agent and preserve the ascorbic level present in the fruits and vegetables. Use of sulfur dioxide. It is a powerful chemical addictive. This sulfur dioxide inhibit the enzymes alter the enzyme substrate and the sulfur dioxide limit the oxygen entrance thereby prevent the enzymatic browning. Next is the application of acids. This is a widely used method for the control of enzymatic browning. The acid employed are among those which are naturally in tissues, particularly citric acid, malic acid, phosphoric acid and ascorbic acids. In general, their action is to lower the tissue pH and thus decrease the rate of browning reaction. Next, use of ascorbic acid mainly prevents the polymerization. It reduces the oxidation of substrate and this acts as a functional group for the enzyme. The other common methods, prevention of contact with oxygen. This is regularly done in our daily routine. Mainly the cut fruits or vegetables cover with wet cloth or this can be applied with honey or it will be immersed in a milk curd or buttermilk and it will be immersed in the water to reduce the contact with oxygen thereby prevent the enzymatic browning. Inhibition by sodium chloride is another way to prevent the enzymatic browning. This method is used as limited being employed mainly for holding peeled fruits of processing. A model study demonstrated that 0.1% sodium chloride significantly inhibited browning of fruits. The reaction mixtures contained 0.4% chlorogenic acid buffered at pH 5 with water or sodium chloride solution can reduce the phenolase activity of apples. Boric acid and borate, the browning was completely inhibited by the treatment with 1.5% sodium tetraborate and with 1.5% sodium metaborate. 
Next is the common practice use of sharp knife. Sharp iron knife can be used to minimize the tissue damage and reduce enzymatic browning in fruits and vegetables. Steel knife may rupture the tissues of the fruits and vegetables and in turn release more enzymes, thereby increase the browning reactions. Some of the current trends to reduce anti-browning agents, mainly consumers are hesitant to buy products with synthetic additives and prefer to replace those with natural ingredients because of their preference for safe and healthier foods. Now it is focused on natural extracts as polyphenol oxidase inhibitors that are adequate to replace the synthetic addic addictives while enhancing nutritional value. In addition, polyphenol oxidase inhibitors derived from agro food byproducts and waste. Here is a puzzle where you can find some of the fruits or vegetables in the jumble word which rapidly undergo the enzymatic browning. Can you able to find out guys? Here we go. So the vegetables like brinjal, potato and the fruits like apple, pear undergoes rapid enzymatic browning. You can explore and learn in your home itself by this method. This can be practiced at your home or in your laboratory, in the schools or colleges. Get some fresh fruit or vegetables like apple or potato. Have five plates ready with you. One empty plate, one plate containing water, one plate containing sugar solution, one plate containing little lemon juice and one plate containing hot water for blanching. Cut up each fruit or vegetable into pieces about 5 cm long. Leave one sample of each fruit and vegetables on a plate and quickly place on each plate. Leave the experiment running for about 1 hour. Observe the browning in the samples left on the plate by after 15 minutes. Compare this with other containers. Which conditions prevented browning most? Think of food preparation and cooking where similar conditions are used. All should understand the key enzymes present in the fruits and vegetables which involved in the enzymatic browning and how to prevent this enzymatic browning. Different methods of prevention against enzymatic browning in fruits and vegetables should be applied in our daily routine as well as while processing of fruits and vegetables. Here are the references made with the book and the e-learning resources. Thank you.